discussing strategy and internal analysis. So when we are conducting our strategy process and strategy formulation, we are doing analysis. We are looking to the external environment to see our opportunities and threats and uh, what the general environment looks like through, for instance, the PESTO analysis. And we also look internal to the organization. We look at our strengths and our weaknesses. What do we do well? What do we do not so well? We also look at our resources and our capabilities. And resources are the things that we have They are intangible or tangible, right? So they can be things like culture or high levels of employee engagement, or they can be tangible, like our buildings or our um, coffee equipment that we have. So for each of our, our internal strengths or our internal resources and capabilities, we should look at whether they are valuable, rare, inimitable, or organized, or I should say, and organized. This is what's called the Rio or Rio analysis, and it helps us look at all of the resources and capabilities we have and say which ones actually brings us core competencies. And remember that a core competency is something that we do or have that beats the competition. So we do it better than the competition, or this resource is more valuable because our competitors doesn't have it. And that would enable us to have stronger levels of firm performance, company performance. So to have a sustainable competitive advantage, something that lasts over time, our resource or capability should be valuable, rare, inimitable, and organized. So these are defined on this slide right here. So we do have the the arrow. It doesn't really mean anything apart from the fact that we typically start with the question over here. So the first thing that you ask is, The resource or capability that you have, is it valuable? Does it actually bring value to the customer? Um, And if that's the first step, right? So the the resource or capability should be valuable. If it's not even valuable, it might be a disadvantage for you. And it might provide you uh, with the opposite of competitive advantage. The second question we are asking then, can we access it easily? Or can our competitors access it easily? Is it rare? Right, So it's something that we have that our competitors are not able to access easily. So it's a good thing because it means that they can't copy us and they can't get their hands on it as, as well as we can. The third question we're asking is whether it is inimitable or non-substitutable. That basically means is it hard for them, hard for our competitors to copy or imitate Or can they find substitutes that would be replacing uh, what we have? So if we're using using iron and iron is very, very hard for our competitors to get, maybe they can use a different type of metal uh, and that would be a substitute. So is our resource inimitable, they can't copy it, or is it non-substitutable? And then our fourth and final question is, can our, our... Is our organization, is our firm organized in a way where we can exploit our resources and capabilities that are valuable, rare, and inimitable? So we have all these great resources and capabilities, but do we have management systems in place? Uh, Do we have organizational processes in place? Do we have control system in place that allow us to actually exploit and make money, bring value from this resource or capability? And it turns out that it looks something like this. So we have the four uh, questions again, right? Is it valuable? Is it rare? Is it hard to imitate? And are we organized in a way that allows us to exploit this resource? Is it supported by the organization, right? So if your resources capability doesn't even have any value, right? You have a competitive disadvantage and your performance will be below normal, right? There's not even a point to having this resource or capability if we don't even get value from it. All right, so let's say our resource or capability is valuable, but it's not rare. Anybody can copy it, anybody can get their hands on it, anybody else can access it. We call this competitive parity, and we might have average levels of performance. Uh, The next step would be to look at whether or not it is difficult to imitate. So we have a valuable resource. 
it is rare and it is also hard for our no it's not hard for a cup for our competitors to imitate and it's not substitutable this might give us a temporary temporary competitive advantage so at least at this point we are beating competition we have a competitive advantage but it's not sustainable it's not long term so we have above normal performance in the short term in the short term we have above normal performance and obviously where we want to be as an organization is at the bottom row here where we are looking at having uh, all of these checked yes so we have um, I guess yellow we'll try yellow right we have a valuable we have a rare we have a difficult to in imitate <laughs> resource and also at this point if it is supported by the organization we get a sustained competitive advantage that is above normal in the longer term so a few questions for your consideration right so why do we even do inter internal analysis think about what resources and capabilities are and what are the difference uh, between them what is the difference between a tangible and intangible resource intangible and tangible resources what is a core competency and uh, think about the competitive advantage short term long term and why do we sometimes lose it so an internal internal analysis starts out with looking at what, who we are as an organization and what kind of resources and capabilities we have the rio analysis we just talked about is a way for us to look at resources and capabilities uh, and see which ones are merely resources and capabilities and which ones can become core competencies right so answering yes 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 to these questions tell us it's a core competency and so this type of analysis then shows us the importance of having value rare and imitable uh, and actually organized being organized in a manner where we can ex exploit this these are building blocks for competitive advantage for the strategy for the organization